to staying with us. So, according to a report, the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board said it would withdraw the results of a student who manually inflated her result and announced herself as the top scorer at the 2023 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination, UTME. The student even used her manually inflated score to attract a three millionaire scholarship from Innocent Motors. Now, there are various angles to this because the young girl, um, according to the, um, the head of corporate communications of Innocent Group, Mr. Cornell Osigwe, said, and let me quote his, his comment, he said, the girl I met doesn't have the brain and capacity to manipulate her result. There is more to this story. A proper investigation needs to be done, I beg, let the poor breathe. <laughs> mm. That girl, according to him, that girl was one of the most brilliant in her school, according to the principal. Her parents couldn't afford to pay for her WAEC and ECHO exams. So of what advantage will it offer her to manipulate her JAM score? So that's from the corporate affairs um, head from Innocent Group. Mm. So, they are, so they believe that this girl that they met is an Innocent Group. There's no way this girl capacity. can be replaced. Mm. There's, there's more to this story. Jam is coming out categorically to say that this girl manually inflated her result. That her, we saw her score, it was 249. Mm. But she wrote, according to them, 260, 362. 362. So these are the um, various <coughs> angles um, to this story. Now, before we even get to what Innocent Group is saying, what are your general thoughts on if indeed this young girl manipulated the result? Let us see what are your thoughts on it. And then we'll come to Innocence Group's perspective. And the fact that the, we, we found out about this when the state government also wanted to support her mm. education. Mm. They called JAM. Innocent didn't. Verify, yeah. Innocent didn't call JAM. They called, the, 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 the another state government called JAM to verify. And then JAM said, no, this person you're talking about, so these are, the, mm. these are our scores. So there's so many perspectives to this, but what are your initial thoughts? Let me come to you, Beatrice. So when I saw the news, the first thing that came to my head is, well, 249 is past now. <laughs> what else are you looking for? Even if you want to study medicine, with 249, you can get admission to the school to study whatever you want to study. So that's past. And um, I also saw greed. You know that you have passed. You are a brainy child. You have been able to hits you know go above the cutoff for any school that you decide to go for why do you want to be the first when you know you have not earned it or is it because of what you think you benefit monetarily because of course you've gotten scholarship and all of that so why why don't you work hard in the school and you know find somebody to sponsor your education why do you have to lie if you had scored like 100 or 102 and you wanted to do that it's not an excuse that's also mm. fraud but you passed. You are intelligent. You can even say, okay, um, I'm not going to school yet. I still want to write next year and score. This is my target. I want to get 300 and something and work towards it. You will get it. You have the brain capacity to get it. So why the lie? But listening to what the aspect you just took now, where they are saying, looking at the girl, they don't think she has the capacity to do this. I'm now thinking that she may have people behind her who will say, let's reposition you. Mm. let's inflate this so that we can attract mm. something. Mm. This is also a lesson for people who would just jump in with any news and decide to start showing public support. Mm. Do your findings, yeah. do your verifications, mm. ask the right questions so that in things like this, your name is not roped into something you should know. You are a mm. conglomerate. You should make some inquiries before you do come that. To you, your initial thoughts on this. Okay, so first thing that I would say is... Um, from my analysis of the drama, she's a smart girl. This, um, this young lady is smart. She's very intelligent. The, said, the principal said she's one of the brightest children in the school. That's one. She got a result probably she did not like, and she felt the result would not give her the leverage she was hoping to achieve. Remember, they said that her parents could not afford to pay for a WAEC and NECO exam, so she had sponsors who probably expected that if you do exceedingly well, we would continue to sponsor you through. And then she did not do that exceedingly well. She just barely passed. 200 and something is you barely, you passed. And so she knew for her to be able to get into university, there needs to be a story around her. 
And so the story was she broke the record. And from just breaking that, saying that she was the highest, she was able to truly get the sponsorship and a lot of that she want, that she needed. So there are many things at play. And I feel that a lot of, a lot of, a deeper conversation needs to be had with her to understand. She's so small and she's a young adult. The, I was discussing with my kids this morning that the brain of children, that, that's right or wrong, is still under formation. And I'm saying this based on neuro, neuroscience. So it is still under formation, ability to identify right or wrong. They feel like the end justifies the means, as long as I'm able to get the scholarship. So the way the media is vilifying her is wrong. Yes, she manipulated the score, but I saw media, um, some media, um, um, on, online media saying, this is the face of the deceiver, and put her uh -oh. face there. And this is a social, this is a young girl whose face, uh -oh. this, this picture, this article will be there forever, all her oh, life. God. You Google her name, you will see things like this. Can we just tone down our needs to trend? and jump on trends, mm -hmm. and state as a, as, as a media house or a, a, a blog, state the facts. Don't put your opinion in a way that paste her as this is a criminal, yeah. a deceiver, that manipulated. Until investigation comes out, you might even find out she did not even do anything. Mm -hmm. Somebody yeah, behind the scene, maybe at the, at the, at the place so where they get results, told her that, um, if you don't change the results, you don't get anything. No. How are you going to go to university? Let us post it like this. And then the person just did it. And now she's the one on the receiving end yeah. of the entire drama. It's possible to mm. it, Anything could have happened yeah. for fun. There's a, there's a part of this story that I find interesting. What Mr. Osigwe said. He said, let the poor breathe. <laughs> That's really heavy. If you want to think about it, let's, also, let, let, let's, let's dissect that for a minute. Now, when you say let the poor breathe, should that, does that mean that because this person is poor, she even if she takes it, it even if, let's just allow her, let the mm. poor breathe. Or should we say let the poor breathe in the sense that, okay, let us help them. Or, let them, or should we still make this person, how do we bring justice? How do we ensure that this justice is served in this situation? Do we prosecute her as Jam is threatening to? She's 16 years old. She's a child. 16 Hopefully years is a child. She's not an adult yet. She's not an adult. So, I, so how do you investigate that? So when you say let the poor breathe, how do you mean? Okay, so I believe that every, um, every offense has a commensurate consequence attached to it. And if we don't have it as uh, lawmakers, these are some of the things we must begin to put in place. So if an offense is committed by a minor, mm. there are consequences that yeah, are commiserate to the, what a minor would get. Yeah. If it's uh, committed by an adult, if she was over 18 and this happened, there are consequences that an adult would yeah. get. We must put that in perspective. And I like where Tope went to. Uh, this young girl could have made this mistake. She has her life ahead yeah. of her. There were a lot of mistakes that some yeah. of us made, but were but lucky no that there were no social <laughs> media. Maybe that would have just marred our lives for the rest. But we were able to still pick up our lives and continue. So we must not throw away the baby and the bathwater. For those of you that like to bathe your baby inside the bath, <laughs> we must look at all the angles. We must have the right questions. We must see who motivated this. I don't personally, from the picture I saw, I don't think she will sit down and craft it. It's also possible, but we must be sure that it came from sauce. her. And she must understand the gravity of what she has done. She must be punished accordingly to that, accordingly to what she has done, and she must be forgiven afterwards. The brain of a child, hmm. I was looking through something someday and I saw this. And they said the brain of a child matures at the age of 28. Mm. I, I didn't, the ability yeah. to do right from wrong. Yeah, 28. Yeah. So at the time I got married, I didn't even have sense. So why do we keep rushing these children to assume that they must have sense, they must have it all figured out at 18, 19, 20, when your brain is still developing till the age of 28? These are some of the things that we must put into consideration. And also, she needs to see a therapist. I always revert to that. She needs to see a life coach. If it's a pattern she's already had, because some of these things start really small. Mm -hmm. You come back from school, uh, you, you, you fail some scores, you clean it with eraser. <laughs> and yeah. mark yourself, yeah. it yes. starts that way. So mm -hmm. we must ask those questions. We must follow through in her schooling to see if she's already started it's building played. this pattern before it now got to this point, okay. so that we can better help her. Punishment is not supposed to be for, 
for um, there's something they call it. It's not supposed punitive. to be for punitive. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be for correction. And for a minor, it should be for correction. I'm going to break because there's somebody that just graduated from school. She's smiling behind you. Let us find out. <laughs> <her. laughs> Thanks for staying with us. We're still discussing this matter. Takwa, you're going to say something. So, yeah, I was going to talk about <clears throat> the innocent angle that BC mentioned. And the truth is, um, every business is looking for a platform to, for adverts. You're looking for free advert, free publicity, free airtime. And before the show, I was saying that, you know, Cindy did a good job because guess what? When he gave the money, he got free airtime. Now that there's controversy, he's getting yes. free airtime. People are talking about it. And sometimes it's not about deep investigation. It's about the fact that we are jumping in. A government should investigate because you're spending public funds to support an initiative. You should be sure that this person actually earned it. So they did the right thing. But Innocent is a business owner who saw an um, opportunity to support a citizen of his state while also gaining publicity with his business. He jumped on it without any, um, let me dig into finding what the story is. And I think that is a good thing to jump on things like that because we have so many people that have strong stories like Intelligent people that they don't have the money to fund through their school and they are thankful. Thankfully, social media gives them that platform. They can get the support needed. Other private organizations can also join. Now, other people that bring their stories to the fore will be investigated like they'll bring in binoculars because That's now true. somebody has set the trend of mm, somebody yeah. can lie about now, things like this. Let me take like this, this. from Thanks for calling, Atolagwe. Yeah, good morning, Mariah. You're live. Go ahead, please. Yeah, thank you very much. And good morning to the ladies. Good morning, good morning sir. Uh, yeah, in this case, is a very is a very sensitive case that we have to watch very well. Mm. Um, since they have published it on social media, mm. I would advise the parents to watch out for that girl so that she will not commit suicide, um, so that because based on what is happening now, so that she will not commit something stupid yeah. mm. in the near future. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's exactly. So she's sixteen. We must remember we're talking about a child. I know, even though. Um, Jam is using big words like prosecute. You know, there's something, there are ways of saying these things. This will be investigated mm -hmm. and we'll look at all the various adults involved. Mm -hmm. You know, there are ways that, that, that we should use certain words because when, when Jam throws out a word like prosecution, then mm -hmm. people are now thinking you're taking the sledgehammer to kill. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are a lot of things and that. They slide. Yes, the clip slide. So she did wrong or she did it wrong either way, but whoever is involved, as um, Innocent Group has said, let us investigate, let's find out what happened, who could have. Um, backed out, supported her to do this kind of thing. That's what we should be investigating. But I'm, I don't know how much of investigation, you know, say, not innocent, um, jam can constitute for this. I mean, this is something that shouldn't that be a something, not, not, not a slap on the back, but it's got to be a way to correct her, mm -hmm. not persecute her. Mm -hmm. Community service is always there for yes. things like this. You mm -hmm. be given a few months to go and sweep the village square, sweep <laughs> the marketplace. Well, she will resume in jam office and serve at, at an intern, which is no, a no, platform. No, she has to sweep. She has to sweep. Mm -hmm. No, but I like the jam office. Yeah. That she walks, she walks there Wait. and that like, is, yeah, is anybody a, can decide to, your son can decide to be my PA now. That's yeah. work. That's not mm. uh, a punishment. form of punishment. So or wash the toilets in jam mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. Something that is not, um, something that's a bit degrading mm. to see the, so that she understands the extent of what she has done. Mm. The, the, the level of what she has done so sweeping like the market square you know wear that their funny uniform washing like jam toilets you know doing mm. something for a period of time which will be supervised or make or make tea for mr fabian making tea is not work <laughs> making tea is not work okay, okay let me let sweep. me take babalola we have to wrap up on this good morning mr babalola thanks for calling good morning you're live go ahead please yes i i want to have some of service on to the ongoing student is uh, I can't hear you. Hear you. But there was something we could... Hello, sir. Okay. I will advise the camp. Okay. okay. We can't hear you, sir. There, there, was, there was something that um, 
you, you were going to mention, um, BC mentioned the fact that many people manipulate from when they are small. Someone in the studio told us about the fact that sometimes if my, I don't like my results, I've, I've, I've turned the report card yeah. so that my parents don't know, I just tell them I did well. So, um, it could have been an I, error or something. Could have, yes. Some, some children have already done a, a little of these things when they're small, and some parents look at it that, oh, they're just being children. Until the day they will not embarrass you on a national level. So let us, as parents, observe a bit more the fact that you don't have time doesn't mean you will not check the results of your children or confirm from the school, not, not because you don't trust, but because you know what is happening in the yeah. world nowadays and ver ver verify that yeah. the result is true. Yeah. If your child comes up and says, ah, don't worry, mommy, I did well, the result was amazing, and you did not submit anything, go and find out because yeah. from that small, small things, you might yeah, discover yeah. one day the one that will be very yeah. embarrassing. So those, those things that you could have just killed within your family. You this one is on a national scale. Your name is now being publicized yes. negatively. I think we can wrap up on this, but I think in a nutshell, um, I think, okay, I'm so... Do we see so the JAM um, spokesperson will join us just to verify for, for us if well, what definition of uh, what their definition of persecution is, because I need to know what they want to do to this 16-year-old child. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we're we'll bringing Mr. Fabian or Dr. Fabian. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. 